Hello there and welcome back to another video. Now you may remember last week when I built my other Bad Batch mocks which are just behind me on the shelf here. I had three of them, I already had one from the week before and I was building some sort of pyramid and I said that I'd need another two to complete the next level of the pyramid. Well last week we got two episodes so today I'm going to be building two scenes, one from each of them episodes. And I'll also be using most of my broken Lego pieces. That was a video I did a few days ago. How you can use all your broken pieces. Honestly, the mocks turn out a lot better than I expected them to. Especially the one with the broken pieces. So we'll be taking a look at them. And also, there's only something like four weeks left. So what I could do is try and get another five displays at the bottom. Perhaps take one of my old mocks, make it into a small size display and try and build up the pyramid so definitely stay tuned for that as well as i've got a big video plan regarding the lego city tomorrow so i won't say much on it now because of course you are excited to get into the bad batch mocks from last week and once again there are no spoilers on today's episode also subscribers on this channel are going up like crazy thank you so so much when we do hit 1k which at this point just seems a matter of when i will be giving you a full tour of the lego room everything that you can't see that you can see i've not done it in a video before so i think it'd be awesome to get a look at what this room looks like from all the different angles you see it from this angle so much and there's only so much you can see so there's a few bits i've updated in the background i'm really excited to be making that video i'll probably make it after we hit 1000 so it'll be a little while before the video comes out but definitely do consider joining the channel and hitting that subscribe button if you do want to see everything else in this lego room because it truly is a lego room anyway i think that's covered all the bases let's get to the desk and take a look at both these mocks and of course stay tuned to the end of the video to see them all in their massive bad batch mock pyramid but the first one we have here is the one that makes use of all of these broken pieces you can see some broken hinges down here we do have the bent bar just at the back there which is showing how the stalls in the marketplace of Pabu have been broken down we've got the top that is falling off not only are there more broken clip pieces but we've also got all of the broken droid arms which would have held the material that goes over the top that's burnt up that's been torn down and this is the imperial occupation of Pabu which wasn't great to see considering I really hoped the batch would be able to retire to Pabu live out the rest of the days and the moment that video goes out once again Star Wars have done me dirty and completely destroyed the inhabitants of Pabu it was not nice to watch and especially right at the end with what happened last week it just shows how terrifying the Empire can be you can see We've got also this brown arch, which I have included all the way up to this end just to enable it to be added anywhere on the pyramid. But I think I've pulled this off very well. We've got the flames all around a giant flame piece in the back, which at first I didn't even know that I owned. But it's a really cool piece. Two of these phase two clones. I really would love to see a battle pack of four of the sort of phase three clones. I don't know if they're phase three clones. They're technically phase one stormtroopers. So I'm going to call them phase one stormtroopers just so we don't get too confused. Because I think in Legends there was a phase three clone. So I would like to get some phase one stormtroopers in a Lego set at some point. And honestly, I'd probably prefer that as a Bad Batch season three set than any of the other named figures would get. If we could get three of the phase one stormtroopers with a clone commando, that would be an amazing battle pack. And it would probably be the best selling battle pack we've had so far just because how many people would be picking it up for mocks just to own the minifigures and it'd be a really fine addition to our collection now as for the back of it it's quite simple i have used a panel and in fact i've used panels for both of these but the devil is in the detail on the front side so hopefully that big grey panel doesn't take too much away from the set. But they do have Firestar printed arms. Again, my code will be in the description if you do want to get yourself a nice 10% off. I really like the detail they've put on them. And I don't see Lego printing regular clone arms. I know Rex and Fives and a few other clones have had printed arms. But for these common troopers, plain wire is just good enough for Lego minifigures. But... I really like the way this mock has come together and it's not the only mock that I've done. I'm going to leave that one in the background 
because the other episode was based on the vault on Tantis and I've somewhat got ahead of myself and as you can see through the door we do have Omega chilling in the vault because of what happens but I don't really have any other Jedi. I guess I could have the Jedi from the Young Jedi Adventures in here if I need Omega for another mock. But it does work out with how the story seems to be heading. Of course, we don't know if Omega does reach Tantis. There's always a chance she gets rescued on the way. But I've also created a custom Emery, which, you know, I love my custom clone troopers. Emery is a clone. She's one of the brothers and sisters of Jango Fett. So... I think this is a really detailed custom. Of course, we've got the Imperial trousers with the boots, which you'll see on any custom Imperial officer, or any improved Imperial officer for that matter. But Emery has a lighter grey jacket on, and it's not perfect for this. I think this is the AT-ST driver from the snowy AT-ST we've got on Hoff. I don't know if that set's still available. It might be. But if it is, it's definitely got to retire this year. I feel like that set's so old. Some white gloves to represent the white backs to the gloves that Emery has. And then I've used Tex head. And the hairpiece was the hardest. I haven't seen anyone create a custom Emery yet. I'm sure there'll be many coming out towards the end of the series. And especially with some of the mocks that can be created. Used Tex head here, which I didn't know actually has a different expression to the clones on the front. I didn't realise that when I used it. So... That is very interesting if you want to diversify your clones. Of course, we've got the Commander Cody head, which you can use. We've got the Boba Fett head for a sort of beaten up clone. And you've also got Tex head if you own the minifigure. But I really do like this figure. I would love to see if there is a hairpiece I could get closer. I've just used this sort of default Lego City hairpiece, which if you've seen my video where I fix up Lego's worst hairpieces for Lego Star Wars, is a great piece in grey for older Kenobi. But I don't think it's great for Emery here. It's just the closest piece I had to fit with the character. So now we have our two customs. Let's get the rest of the pyramid and build this thing up from the bottom. And I've also changed the camera angle just so we can fit them all in. Because when you have six different segments, it definitely does add up when you're stacking them now before we do end up stacking them i'd just like to show this was my pabu from the prediction for the finale this is pabu an episode later so as you can see my theories haven't aged well at all but i think i'll be keeping my fan theories towards the bottom and then we can stack up from there so i definitely don't want the vault to be the highest point because we've got emery sticking out so we can sit the vault there i've switched up this mock of the interrogation of the clone assassin to have some studs on top and i'm afraid all the custom clones are elsewhere because i either need them to fit in certain ships for my how many clones fit series or have needed the other clones for future mocks but as you can see i'm really liking this pyramid style of building i think i'll revisit this for a mock sometime in the future because it's really nice to see how they stack up and really it builds a complete story so perhaps when acolyte comes out or we now have the new show tales of the empire i am so hyped for that i can build something like this that shows a few stories from the entire series or for tales of the empire i could build one per episode let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments let's get a better angle of this and of course, I'm not going to be going over all of the older mocks that I've built here. You can go find them videos for yourself or wait until the second week after the finale. That's like the middle of May sometime. And I will be showcasing all of the mocks that I've built. Of course, some parts will be missing from the original videos, much like this mock here. And especially with Batcha, I've broken down the main part of that diorama. So if you want to see the full mock in all its glory, definitely go back and watch them videos. But that is all for this video. I cannot wait to build the next mock for today's episode. I'm so interested to see how they will go after this. I'm pretty sure we can expect to go back to Tantis after what has just happened. And no, I can't wait. I'm afraid you will have to till next week. Do definitely like the video if you're enjoying this series so far and subscribe for more awesome content. Don't forget that room tour at 1k subs. We've got so many of you that are watching these videos and not subscribing. But thank you all for the support and may the bricks be with you always.